One Piece. Hold on, where's my <laughs> where's my white beard mustache? The One Piece is real. You can't even see it because it's white, dude. <laughs> You probably already heard about this, but you boys at Netflix are teaming up with Studio Wit to reanimate the entirety of East Blue within 25 episodes. Because of One Piece's 25th anniversary, which is a great way to celebrate. Seeing any other studio apart from Toei handle One Piece is going to be super interesting considering the character designs are probably going to change a little bit. But I got a lot of faith in them, man. These are the guys that used to do Attack on Titan. Not to mention Vinland Saga and Spy Family. They got certified bangers under their belt. I think they can do the job. But what I really wanted to talk about is how many different versions of East Blue we now have. Obviously starting off with the manga. Then we got the anime which covered it pretty much throughout the late 90s. We also got the live action version. But something a lot of people may not know is episode of East Blue which is basically the exact same thing where in 2017 they reanimated East Blue and it's like an hour and 40 minutes so it's basically a movie. Counting this announcement in, we now have five different ways to experience East Blue. That's crazy. We don't talk about the sixth cursed way to experience it. Who remembers the four kids version, bro? Yeah, yo, yeah, yo, yeah, yo. Uh oh. <laughs> Do you guys think this is gonna be the best way, the definitive way to experience East Blue? Let me know in the comments. 